Welcome to another Volt Maxi Explained video. In this series, I give you insights on how Volt Maxi works, the involved parts, and also some deep dives into the code. Today is not about the code. Um, today is about a more practical part on how to set up a Volt Maxi in your WA AWS account. Because I think it's pretty simple to do that, but there are people who don't um, um, know uh, how easy it is, and they sometimes fear that it's too complicated for them. So I want to give you a bit of an example um, how fast you can set up Maxi in your AWS account. As always, this is not financial advice. Um, this do only in your account where you understand what you're doing, only use bots, um, apps or whatever, where you understand how they work, what they do, and where you understand especially the risks uh, involved because there are always risks involved. If anybody tells you, that there are no risks involved in anything. Don't trust them, it's probably a scam, or they don't know the risks and you likely um, will fall for that risk um, because it's always the car that you don't see that hits you. That's why we always have, um, also has this disclaimer, this uh, risks warning in our guide. In the release of um, our, of GitHub, um, we always link this Volt Max as a Lambda guide where we explain a lot about what to do, what the bot does, and how to set it up. Uh, also have an FAQ and everything in there. And then here we also um, have again this um, risk warning, um, what could happen and what is. Um, I know I always repeat myself a lot there, but I think it's really important to only do this if you know what risks are involved. If you know them and if you say, okay, I'm fine with that risk, I do that with the, uh, I'm, I'm fine with it, I know what I'm doing then it's perfectly fine, it's a perfect tool. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, um, just don't, <laughs> just just don't. I'm, I'm, I'm more happy with less people using bots, but they know what they're doing than people lose money on apps or bots because they get scammed into it. They, they think they know what they're doing or just follow someone and then they lose funds because of that. So with that out of the way, um, there is basically a lot in there, it's a, it's a big document, um, but the main part that we want to talk about today is the setup. Um, in the setup, the whole thing, um, if you didn't watch it yet, um, I made a, a video on the architecture of the uh, Volt Maxi to understand all the moving parts in there, what, what um, is interacting with what, um, to understand what's happening behind the scenes. Um, you can set that up, uh, all that up manually, but that takes some time. But we also provided a cloud formation template, which makes the setup really easy. And I want to show that um, today. So what you need to run your uh, Volt Max is you need an AWS account. Um, we have an explanation on how to set up an AWS account in there, but it's basically self-explanatory. Go to AWS and you um, um, can do that and you get guided through the whole thing. You also uh, highly recommend to have a Telegram bot for monitoring. Um, we also have the um, explanation how to set it up. Um, in this guide, um, pretty straightforward. Again, you set up your Telegram bot in Telegram itself, and then you get your bot token and your chat ID, um, how you talk to the bot. And then we come to the point um, where you really need to do something that's Volt Max specific. So you have a, you have an AWS account, it's secure, you have multi-factor authentication activated and everything, and now we want to set it up. And there are basically two steps, what you need to do to um, set up your um, Volt Maxi. First, you need to create the secure parameter where you put in your seed phrase. Um, second, you run the CloudFormation template. So let's let's do it step by step. Here we have already the, the screenshots and the stuff. So you just follow this link in the guide. This leads you to the parameter store in your AWS account. Um, your account is empty, so you don't have any parameters in there. So it's pretty easy to say, I want to create a parameter. So just click on a create a parameter. And now from the documentation we have here, we, you need to create one parameter with this name. So you just copy that in. This is my parameter name. And what's important is that this needs to be a secure string. So it's encrypted all the time. The rest you can keep as it is. And the only thing that you now need to put in, here you put in your key phrase. Yes, this is not my key phrase, this is just some uh, random words, but that's here you put in your 24 word key phrase. Keep in mind, 
this is your private key, this is your AWS account. Anyone who has access to your AWS account has access to that key phrase. So keep your AWS account safe and secure. Um, now you create a parameter, you see it's safe, now you have that in your parameters and congratulations, you just completed step one of the two-step process. Now for the step two, we have this cloud formation template. Um, all this infrastructure or stuff that you uh, that uh, is needed in the background can be set up with this simple template which takes care of everything yourself uh, for you. So now um, we click on the cloud formation template and this now this leads us to this um, creation of the stack. You see we are in the cloud formations in the stack and this is our predefined um, cloud formation template that we provide. Um, the name you can give whatever name you want um, and then you have here the um, form where you put in all the parameters necessary to run your vault. So you need your DeFi chain address, you need your vault ID and then you can have the things that you want to use. Let's just put in some references and yes this is not my DeFi chain address, um, just some, some sample stuff or so the vault ID um, and just put it in so that we have something in that um, fulfills the steps. Now, address and vault ID is already created. Um, please, uh, you need to make sure that this address is the owner of this vault, but beside that, everything's fine. And of course, your seed phrase um, needs to be the owner of this address. Now, um, with the um, um, parameters for the vault, uh, for the maxi itself, we have um, a few parameters that define of what Maxi does. Um, as you know, Volt Maxi generally keeps your Volt within a defined range. And this is where you um, define your range. range. So the minimum collateral ratio, let's put it to 160. And the maximum collateral ratio, let's put it to 170. And this is now where we say, okay, your Volt Maxi will try to keep your Volt um, between 160 and 170. Um, so if it, the collateral ratio falls below 160, it um, reduces exposure in the liquidity mining and um, pushes the collateral ratio back. If it uh, goes above 170, it takes more loans, puts it into liquidity mining and therefore um, keeps your ratio within this range. For liquidity mining pair, you can take any um, D token DUSD pair or you can take also DFI, uh, DUSD DFI pair. Um, for now, for this, I take, um, for example, yeah, QQQ, let's keep it. It's a um, valid pair. Um, I always um, recommend to have a D token that's not too volatile, to not be exposed to too much impermanent loss risk, um, but uh, it's a personal decision what you want. Same as it's a personal decision what ratio um, you want to put in here. I would recommend to stay away from the 150, so keep some buffer for any uh, situations. Um, but that's your personal decision of what you want. The only um, thing is that the maximum needs to be two points higher than the minimum to have a bit of uh, range where Maxi can work. Then we have the main collateral asset. Um, main collateral asset usually is DFI, but you could set it to DUSD. If you set it to DUSD with this case, then um, this means you would, it's a world where you must make sure that there is a lot of DUSD in the collateral. And then Maxi takes only loans in the D token, so in this case QQQ, and takes the DUSD directly from the as, um, from the collateral. So if you put in here DUSD, we would be in a single mint case, but it only means one and takes the other from the collateral. Therefore, it's far more efficient. And with the new update that you can't, they, uh, that you need 50% DFI in the loan, in the collateral for DUSD loans. Um, this only works in the single mint case where you take the DUSD out of the collateral, put it into liquidity mining. It's efficient and um, yeah, works good. Uh, then we have the threshold for the reinvest. Um, generally, with this whole automation, we also of course want to auto compound our rewards. So as soon as we have rewards in the address, if they compound up to a certain threshold, we take everything and put it into the vault. Um, here you have to keep in mind the threshold is it's also only just for DFI. So when DFI accumulates in your address, these DFI are used for reinvesting. As soon as this threshold is reached, so you have, if I put in here 10, as soon as you have more than 10 DFI in your address, Volt Maxi takes 
all the DFI of your address and puts it into the vault. Um, keep in mind, if you have a main collateral of the USD, Vault Maxi will first convert those DFI into the USD and then put it into the vault because you defined your main collateral asset as the USD. Um, if you don't want that, just dis disable the threshold uh, that uh, reinvest uh, by putting it to minus one and to reinvest in yourself. Generally, uh, another rule of thumb um, for reinvesting, I would recommend to not put it on a, a, f a too high frequency because it just wastes transaction fees. So I have it um, at a frequency of about every one or two days that it triggers the uh, reinvest. So depends on how big your vault is, um, keep that in mind. Also, we have here the auto donation feature where I say, if you think what we're doing is worth and you want to donate um, some of your rewards, um, we would be happy and thankful for that. Um, and here you can define how much percent of your reinvests will be sent to our donation address. So for example, if you have here 5%, whenever a reinvest, whenever the bot does a reinvest with the threshold, it takes 5% of this reward that he would reinvest, send it to us and the rest is reinvested. Um, we have a guard in there that if you move, send funds to the address and there is a big bunch of DFI coming to the address, which is then obviously not a reinvest, but a transfer of funds, then we don't um, take the donation from that. Um, so if in this case, um, feel free to donate yourself, but just um, know that we have this guard in place. And of course, if you don't want to donate or uh, auto donate anything, just set it to zero and there is no donation happening. That's it for the um, Volt Maxi parameters. Pretty um, yeah, smooth. And here you have your Telegram notifications. Um, again, these are not no real stuff, but um, just as you know how it roughly will look like. Um, this is the, uh, the chat ID basically. And here comes the token, which looks something like that. And here you see we have two um, pairs of these parameters, um, two times the token and two times the chat ID. Um, this is for the following case because you have um, notifications that are sent out whenever something important happens, like uh, the decrease in exposure, uh, increase exposure, uh, reinvest happened or whatever. And or when any error happens. So basically if something happens that you need to um, know and that you need to be uh, notified by. And then we have the logs, um, which basically sends a notification to this channel or to this chat ID every time um, the Volt Maxi triggers. So you see every execution in there. Um, I have that um, with two different chat IDs. So I add a, created a group with the uh, Telegram bot um, and I have the group ID in here um, so that this group I, I muted but I know whenever I want to know is everything good, is everything running, I just look into this group uh, and see last execution was 10 minutes ago, everything is green, I see the status, so I can be sure that everything is fine. And that's something that I would recommend for anybody. And, but even if you don't want to see, have the logs, please always have your notifications up so that if any error happens, if any problem happens, if there is any, any situation, you get notified and you can um, take care of it yourself. And that's it. That's all the parameters that you need to set in um, and have that. And after that, you just acknowledge that you want to create that and say, create stack. And now the creation is in progress. Um, so now you just wait. I mean, it takes some time. Luckily in the video, I will uh, cut that out where I just wait, but you see here, um, you can refresh and then you see what's already happening. So there's a lot of stuff that's happening in back. The parameters are set up, the, um, um, the, the roles are set up and everything. And you get the, the info, what's happening. And this is the important status. It's creating progress. So just keep waiting. You can keep refreshing. Uh, it takes a few minutes and then your vote maxi is up. And once that is up, once this is done, everything is good to go and you don't have anything else to do. So everything is done, um, it's complete and your, uh, your setup is, is ready. Volt Maxi is already running uh, or is ready to run. And the next time the 
trigger will fire and Volt Maxi will already take care of your Volt. Um, this will happen every 15 minutes. So the trigger is set to every 15 minutes. So if you now just wait, um, you see that your um, notifications um, will come in in the um, log channel. What I would recommend anyone to anyway do is to set up, uh, to check your setup. And that's here in the guide. We have this test AWS setup where we have the go to your um, go to your Lambda and set up uh, and check the setup. Basically this check setup. We need to copy this. And now we need to go to our Lambda function. You find it on the service bar, Lambda functions, and then the default chain volt max. Let's do that. Um, we go in here and say Lambda. As you see, I already do my favorites, so it's in the, the bar. But if you go here to Lambda, now you see your DeFi chain of Volt Maxi. We just open that. And here we have the Maxi. If you now go to test, you see here the event bridge, that's the, the trigger, Maxi and the code and everything. And you can say here, I want to create a new event. Um, and this is just really keeping um, just this is for testing Volt Maxi runs perfectly this is just to understand what's happening um, if you save that and now um, this will just run the checks and it runs through and takes a few seconds minutes depending um, how fast the chain and everything is how fast the ocean reacts and as soon as this is through this is now queen and now you should have a notification, a message in your telegram that tells you um, from Maxi, um, I am um, monitoring this vault on this address. I have these parameters and everything is green. And if you have that, you know now that Volt Maxi is doing exactly what it should and everything's fine. So congratulations. You just successfully set up your Volt Maxi. Um, have fun and enjoy the rewards. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, if you liked that, leave a like. And for anything else, yeah, just leave a comment and see you in the next video.